The McLaren Group is a British conglomerate based in Woking, Surrey, United Kingdom. Founded by Ron Dennis shortly after his acquisition of the McLaren Formula One team in 1981, it was originally named the Tag McLaren Group due to a partnership with Mansur Oges Tag Group. It was renamed to simply the McLaren Group in 2003, then to McLaren Technology Group in 2015. The group was originally formed from a Formula One team established by New Zealander Bruce McLaren in 1963 and is now focused around the McLaren F1 team, the group's second most profitable company. The company hoped to expand its market from Formula One to manufacturing cars with its launch of the McLaren F1. In recent years, the group has branched out to other precision manufacturing areas, such as motorized devices for the solar and wind industries. For three years, McLaren Group's technology subsidiary McLaren Applied Technologies worked closely with GlaxoSmithKline. Together they also plan to open a new building at the McLaren Technology Center, called the McLaren GSK Center for Applied Technology. In December 2014, founder, CEO, chairman, director and McLaren shareholder Ron Dennis attempted to purchase 50% of McLaren Technology Group from Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and Mansur Ojjay, after shareholder relations worsened, but the investment deals Dennis had arranged failed to materialize and the shareholding structure remained as before. Dennis tried to purchase the company again in October 2016, with an estimated bid of £1.7 billion, but Ojjay and Mumtalakot wanted Dennis out, refusing his bid and consequently placing him on garden leave. Dennis left the company upon the expiry of his contract in January 2017. In June 2017 it was announced that Dennis had sold his 25% shareholding in the McLaren Technology Group back to the other shareholders, in addition to his shares in McLaren Automotive. The group then merged with McLaren Automotive, to form a new company that was created using the previous McLaren Group name. History. Bruce McLaren started Bruce McLaren Motor Racing in 1963 and the team first entered Formula One in 1966. Teddy Mayer took over direction of the group following Bruce McLaren's death while testing a Can-Am series car in 1970. Mayer subsequently lead the McLaren to their first World Constructors Championship in 1974 with Brazilian driver Emerson Fittipaldi, who also won the World Drivers' Championship that year. McLaren Group and all of its companies were later formed by Ron Dennis CBE. These include a diverse number of technology based companies, including Tag McLaren Audio, a high end manufacturer of DVD players and audio equipment, now sold to IAG, Absolute Taste, a London based catering company notably for numerous celebrities, including John Terry and Jensen Button, McLaren Automotive, a high end luxury sports car manufacturer. Manufacturer but a separate company from the group, Lydon Circuit, a Kent Racing Circuit and McLaren Applied Technologies known for its sporting equipment used by Mark Cavendish, Lizzie Yarnold and others in numerous sports including bicycles and skeletons. It also manufactures modern solutions such as the electronics at Heathrow Airport and GlaxoSmithKline PLC's vaccine and drug company and formerly its consumer healthcare division which manufactures Horlicks. Alex, Aquafresh, Boost, Gaviscon etc. McLaren Composites, creators of composites for cars such as the McLaren F1 and Mercedes SLR and even spacecraft parts, was later replaced with McLaren Applied Technologies. The group consists of a large number of companies and subsidiaries of its companies, some of which are stated below. Topic: Motorsport. 
Topic Formula One McLaren originally entered Formula One in 1966 under its founder Bruce McLaren. However, in 1970 he died in a crash. The team was saved by Teddy Mayer who helped the team win their first Constructors and Drivers title. After Teddy Mayer, Ron Dennis took over the McLaren racing team and he has worked for the company ever since. However, at the beginning of the 2009 season, Ron Dennis handed over the F1 department to Martin Whitmarsh so Dennis could focus on expanding McLaren overall, and especially in the road car market in 1966, McLaren suffered with reliability with their Ford 4.2-liter engine, and only scored a point after changing to a Serenissima V8. In 1967 they tried two different BRM engines. For the 1968 season they switched to Cosworth Ford engines. These continued to 1983, apart from a couple of Alfa Romeo examples, and then the tag Porsche Turbo came in. This was the start of the MP4 cars, and the first entire carbon composite chassis. Honda engines took over in 1988, and then in 1993 the MP4 eighths had a Ford HB engine. The next year was a Peugeot V10, and then the Mercedes era began in 1995, ending after the 2014 season. The team's first F1 race win occurred in 1968 when Bruce McLaren won the non-championship race of champions at Brands Hatch driving a McLaren M7A Ford. Later that year the team scored its first Grand Prix win when Bruce McLaren took the Belgian Grand Prix at spa Francorchamps. By the end of the season Denny Holm had won two further Grand Prix, in Italy and Canada the team's first 1–2 finish in a world championship race. Emerson Fittipaldi won the F1 World Championship in 1974, and McLaren also took their first Constructors title at the same time. The 1976 title was taken by James Hunt, and then there was a gap until 1984. Then, Lauda took the title, and Prost took it the next two years running. The team took the Constructors' title in 84 and 85. In 1988, the McLaren MP4 quarters had a very successful year. Not only did Senna win the title, but the car won 15 out of 16 races, and, apart from just 27 laps, led every single lap during the year. Prost won in 1989, and then left for Ferrari after clashing with Senna. Senna also won the title for McLaren in 1990 and 1991. The partnership between McLaren and Mercedes began in 1995 with McLaren choosing to use Mercedes engines. This partnership was to last 15 years because McLaren and Mercedes parted ways on 16 November 2009 as Mercedes had bought the debut season driver and constructor winning team Braun. It was rebranded as Mercedes GP. Ron Dennis said one reason McLaren and Mercedes parted ways was because of his ambitious plans to turn McLaren into a car manufacturer. Dennis insisted that in the 21st century to survive in F1 you need to have more than just a team. However, Mercedes continued to supply engines to McLaren until 2014. On the 16th of November 2009, Mercedes bought a 75.1% stake in Braun GP and rebranded it as Mercedes Grand Prix. Mercedes continued supplying engines and sponsorship until 2014. McLaren also said the McLaren Group will become a fully independent standalone corporate entity as McLaren is to buy back stock from Daimler in phases up until 2011. At the end of 2011, McLaren Group completely bought back the stocks from Daimler. Vodafone's title sponsorship deal, which began in 2007, ended at the finish of the 2013 season. In 2014, the team's official title was McLaren Mercedes. In 2015, the team, under a new partnership with car manufacturer Honda changed its official title to McLaren Honda. Topic. 
Topic: Automotive In 1992 McLaren began producing its first road car, the McLaren F1, which had many similarities to its F1 car. In total, 106 were produced from 1992 to 1998, and even though it has been out of production for 15 years, there are still few production cars with a higher top speed than the F1. Among those that are faster are the Koenigsegg Agera R, Bugatti Veyron, SSC Ultimate Aero, Bugatti Veyron Super Sport and the Koenigsegg 1, 1. In September 2009 McLaren announced the successor of the McLaren F1 was to be the upcoming McLaren P1. Dennis said that parting ways with Mercedes was a win-win situation for both sides. McLaren also produced the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren with Mercedes as a joint project. Mercedes at this time owned 11% of the group as 29% has been sold back to the group. Now Mercedes has left the McLaren group owners, selling their remaining 29%. Topic: Technology McLaren Applied Technologies is the main subsidiary of McLaren Group, known for making the bike raced in the Le Tour de France by Mark Cavendish, the gold-winning bobsled as used by Lizzie Yarnold and more. In Formula One, McLaren Applied Technologies is the official AQ engine control unit supplier to all teams, the official electronics supplier to all NASCAR teams and also helps develop medicines and drugs made by GlaxoSmithKline GSK. McLaren have also developed some household brands with GSK, including Aquafresh, Sensodyne, Boost, Horlicks, Niquitin and more. McLaren Applied Technologies began as McLaren Composites, mainly for the manufacture for parts for the McLaren F1 and Mercedes SLR. However, it began to grow and won contracts to manufacture parts for other companies and even grew into the energy industry, mainly solar panels. It was dissolved in 2003 and replaced with McLaren Applied Technologies. A short while after in 2004. Topic: Former subsidiaries. Lydon Circuit, a racetrack near Dover in Kent, sold to a private investor. McLaren Advanced Vehicles, founded to focus on breaking the land speed record. Abandoned after the success of the Thrust SSC. McLaren Animation, a CGI animation studio originally created to develop Tuned. Merged with McLaren's other television-related businesses into McLaren Marketing. McLaren Cars, produced the McLaren F1. Became dormant and was replaced by McLaren Automotive. McLaren Composites, a technology company best known for building the McLaren F1 and Mercedes SLR structures and supplying major parts for Beagle 2. Merged with TAG Electronic Systems to form McLaren Applied Technologies McLaren Electronic Systems, developed and manufactured automotive control systems and components for motorsports. Became a brand of McLaren Applied Technologies. Tag Electronic Systems, merged with McLaren Composites to form the new company, McLaren Applied Technologies. Tag McLaren Audio, a hi-fi, CD player, DVD player, and other electronics company. Sold to International Audio Group and renamed Audiolab. Ownership. Ron Dennis Co. owned all of McLaren with John Barnard after buying out the original shareholders after Bruce McLaren's death. In 1983 he offered Mansur Ojje the chance to purchase 50% of the team. He accepted and McLaren became a joint venture with Ojje's holding company, the TAG Group. 
In 2000, after supplying engines to the team through their Mercedes subsidiary for 15 years, Daimler AG, then Daimler Chrysler AG exercised an option to buy 40% of the TAG McLaren Group. By now the F1 team had already grown into a number of different companies since Oja's investment, so Daimler Chrysler were planning on purchasing 40% of the parent group, not just the F1 team. Ron Dennis and Oja's tag group each retained a 30% share. In August 2006, it was reported that Daimler was considering acquiring the remaining 60% of the McLaren group held by Dennis and Oja. However, in January 2007, it was announced that the Mumtalakot Holding Company, wholly owned by the Kingdom of Bahrain, intended to purchase 15% from both Dennis and Oja. The shareholding then became Daimler 40%, Mumtalakot Holding Company 30%, Dennis 15%, and OJ 15%. In November 2009, Mercedes bought Braun GP renaming it Mercedes GP and announced that McLaren would buy back Daimler's 40% share of McLaren. McLaren gradually bought back Daimler's shareholding over two years, buying the last shares at the end of 2011. The shares were divided evenly between the remaining shareholders. Dennis planned to buy out Oja's quarter ownership in McLaren, however, this fell through, most likely as Oja was unwilling to leave the company as he could be seen as a founding member. In 2014 Dennis announced now that he planned to purchase Mumtalakat's shares. Shareholder relations continued to worsen, and consequently in October 2016, Dennis offered £1.7 billion to Mumtalakat and Ojje for McLaren, only to be rejected as fellow shareholders wanted Dennis removed. Dennis took his fellow shareholders to the High Court to prevent them removing him from the company, but lost the case and was removed from his position officially on 15 November 2016. In June 2017 it was announced that Dennis had sold his 25% shareholding in the McLaren Technology Group back to the other shareholders, in addition to his shares in McLaren Automotive. 